Hey guys, my name is Dominic and it's not been a year actually, it's been only two weeks since I've last uploaded a video. So today we're going to take a look at that colder guy and how he does things, especially for Instagram and for his pictures. And we're going to do that in under five minutes. So if you like that, if you want to have more videos like that, just, you know, subscribe. There's been seven of you already, which I like. And um, yeah, without further ado, just get straight into the video. All right, so here we are with this beautiful picture I took of a street, of a random street in New York City. And um, I took it with my, uh, with my old Canon DSLR and I didn't shoot in RAW. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you like what is possible when you just shoot JPEG as opposed to RAW. I mean, of course you should be shooting RAW because you know, it contains a lot of more information. But no, not today. We're doing it uh, the amateur way, but it's okay. So we have this picture and of course we're gonna go for that weird colder look. And some, some of you might call that the teal and orange look. We're gonna do that in under five minutes. I hope, actually I hope we can do it in under five minutes because I've never done it. I've never timed myself before. Right, so obviously we're gonna go for Instagram for, for, and for the platform that we all love and adore. But first, of course, for Instagram, we're gonna crop that to four by five. For Instagram, just a general rule, just use one by one or four by five. For the, for the sake of this, we're gonna go with four by five, you know, position that, and boom, now we're here. So first of all, the exposure, we're gonna, we're not gonna do a lot with that, just to up it a little bit, up the contrast a little bit. Um, then I would pull the highlights down just, just a bit, and pull the shadows all the way up. And you can kind of see already you know, even in a shitty JPEG file, there's a lot more information contained that, that you can see. Right, the whites, I would pull the whites all the way down. And the blacks usually a little bit up, but I don't like that kind of look. So I'm just going to, you know, down the blacks a little bit as well. Right, so in the, in the other, in the presence mode, we're going to up the clarity because, you know, obviously you don't want to do it, overdo it that much because but just up the clarity a little bit about 20 to 30 and up the vibrance a little bit and pull back on the saturation just a little bit I would say about five or six or seven <laughs> right now we're in the tone curves and we're gonna the first thing we're gonna do is you know make these little dots so because that way you could those dots always stay the same no matter what you do in the corner because the corner is what we're going to take on next we're going to shift take the corner and shift it a little bit upwards what that does is it's going to fade out and ooh, what's happening man it's going to fade man all right it's going to fade that image a little bit you can kind of see the before and after. You just fade that image a little bit out. All right. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do, we want to go for that teal and orange look. So obviously we want to do something with the orange. And, you know, this, this picture has some orange, you know, kind of tones already. But colder kind of makes the oranges look kind of you know, darkish red, I think. So we're gonna take this and desaturate that a little bit. I'm just gonna shift the red, the, the, the red primary to about minus 50, I would say. And then you just leave the greens be and take the hues and down this those as well. I mean, we could up them, but then we have this weird, you know, kind of purplish look. We just get a little bit, a little bit. Can you see that? This is the before and this is the after. And this is like really subtle. But 
basically this is what it's all about. Then, after that, we're gonna take the dehaze, dehaze that fuck, dehaze that mother, <laughs> and um, and then we're gonna enable the lens correction because you know you can see it just looks way better. And then here you can see actually it, it recognizes the lens that I took it with and it was a just a regular you know kit lens that's actually not really good. Right, so for some fine refinements, we could, you know, take the hue in the shadows, pull them up a little bit to the yellowish side, I would say, and just make the, the whole uh, image a little bit, a little bit warmer, just a little bit warmer. Take the hues in the, in the, in the, in the bluish side, no, actually just forgive me, just don't do anything with the blues at all. Or like we could actually just take a little bit of yellow i like that that's how i like it man right and you know for the last part we're just gonna add, add some green i don't even know if that colder guy does it but i always do it and um basically we're all we're all done with this beautiful image you can see You can see the the before and the after. Before and after. All right, guys. I hope you liked that. I mean, bear with me. It's been my first tutorial, and I might have been all over the place, but whatever. I would say I would say we're gonna see each other again sometime. Bye bye.